Hello everyone and welcome back to Mariana Mass Books. My name is Mariana and today I am here with my Middle Grade March TBR video. I love Middle Grade March, I love reading Middle Grade and Middle Grade March is what introduced me to Middle Grade. I used to enjoy children's books but I didn't read them often and I didn't read Middle Grade. I read more like picture books once once in a while it's not like i read it a ton just as a graphic designer i enjoyed them because of that but middle grade march and some other friends like cara at white book garden and other book to friends introduced me to the idea of reading middle grade and i just i love reading middle grade because of that i I could not participate. I am going to give you books uh, that, I, um, that I want to read for each of the prompts and at the end I'm going to give you a couple of extras that I want to read. I will of course link all of the information of Middle Grade March down below. It's a month long readathon to read Middle Grade books. So yeah, I will link everything down below and I will just go ahead telling you what my plans are for this year's middle grade march. There are five prompts for middle grade march. Prompt number one is a book that has won a prize other than the Newbery Medal. So I was kind of thinking what I could do for this prompt and uh, I thought that it would be fun to find a prize that is awarded to literature in Spanish. And the prize that I um, immediately was drawn to was the prize uh, that is awarded by El Barco de Vapor because El Barco de Vapor is an uh, a, a publishing that publishes children's literature, middle grade li literature and young, young adult literature in Spanish. When I was growing up, I read a ton of El Barco de Vapor books. So when I saw that prize, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to read from that prize. And the book that I chose for this prompt is actually the 1997 winner of El Barco de Vapor Prize, which is a book that is not translated, but the title would roughly translate to something like King Arthur Writes Again, sort of. Um, and in, this is about King Arthur, who is, uh, at the moment of the story, he is, I think, 250 years old. And he is convinced by a mischievous demon to go out and have adventures. And so this is a book about, uh, like, a, I'm guessing, humorous account of the 250-year-old King Arthur trying to write again and having these adventures but not quite succeeding because he's 250 years old and it says that this is a book about the importance of slowing down. So uh, it sounds delightful and I'm very excited to read that one. And then the next prompt is uh, to read a sci-fi or dystopian uh, middle grade and for this one i'm going to be reading the group read i don't usually read the group read for these types of events but in this case uh it sounds adorable and it uh fulfills this prompt and it is a rover's story by jasmine warga and it is the story of a mars rover who uh is not supposed to have feelings but in the process of the making of the rover, he catches feelings and uh, his name is, he is called Res, which is short for resilience, which just sold me right there. Uh, so it's a story of this Mars rover called Res, who is launched to Mars and has to deal with the difficulties of being in Mars that turns out is a very tough planet to be in and he communicates with Earth and I'm assuming it's going to be about resilience because that's the name of the rover and I can't wait and, and as a plus um, this is available in my audiobook subscription so 
Yes. And then the next prompt is a book with sky or sea on the cover. And for this one, I'm actually going to be reading an other winner for El Barco de Vapor Prize. And this is the winner of 2022. So the most recent winner. So this book would actually also fulfill the first prompt. In case I didn't get to King Arthur, I could read this one and it would fulfill that prompt as well. And the book is uh, also not translated, but it would be, the title would translate to Jack Mullet of the Seven Seas. So of course it's the story of a pirate. Jack is a little girl who is a pirate and she is the daughter of two fearless, fearsome pirates, John and James, and um, they live on an island and she gets into a whole sort of adventures in that island. I don't know a lot more, but that's all I need to know. It sounds so cute and I can't wait. I really hope I get to all of these. I always say this when I make DVR videos for readathons, but I really hope I get to all of these because they all sound amazing. The next prompt is a uh, read a book uh, that features a neuro neurodiverse character. And for this one, I immediately knew what I wanted to read because I've been wanting to read it since forever. And this is um, A Kind of Spark by L. McNichol. There is, um, it's been a while since I saw the synopsis, but to, if I remember correctly, it features a girl who is neurodiverse, who in school learns about the witch trials. And so she wants to do like a memorial for the witches or something along those lines. I really don't need to know more. Um, it's been on my want to read this since forever and I am excited to get to it uh, for middle grade March. And then finally, um, the, final uh, the final prompt is a book that was published in the last year. So for this one, I'm doubling up with a sky or sea on the cover and I'm reading Jack Mullet of the Seven Seas, um, which again, also would fulfill the first prompt, so I could read that for those three prompts if I didn't have time to get to all of the other, um, you know, time or if I got distracted by other books, which happens often. So those are the books uh, based on the prompts, but there are also some other books that I would like to read. The first one is the first book in the Warriors series, series? Uh, which is Warriors Into the Wild by Erin Hunter. And this one I want to read because it is the favorite series of one of my little cousins. Um, I took it upon myself uh, to bond with my younger cousins by reading the books that they like. So if you have fo followed my channel, you know that I'm body reading the Nevermore series with one of my cousins. I always talk about books with another one of my cousins and then one of my uh, younger younger cousins came to visit for uh, the holidays and his favorite series is the Warriors series and he has a club with his friends where they talk about the series and so I want to read at least the first book so I can talk about it with him and it's also available in my audiobook platform subscription so hopefully I'll get to that one as well. And then one that I actually own, and um, this is actually a winner of the Newbury Medal, and this is Good Masters Sweet Ladies, uh, Voices from a Medieval Village by Laura Amy Schlitz. If you, again, have seen my channel for a while, you know that uh, my first time participating in Middle Grade March, I read a Laura Amy Schlitz book, which is Amber and Clay, which is now one of my all-time favorite books ever. Um, I featured it in my most recent book haul. And so after I read Amber and Clay, I wanted to um, get this one because I love 
reading about the medieval period. This is not a non-fiction. It is a book in verse, a fiction book in verse. Uh, and I got it a while ago and I haven't gotten to it. And I would really like to read it because I think this is a perfect blend between Middle Great March and Historathon 2023, which is the history reading uh, event that I'm co-hosting. So um, this is a nice segue to talk about the final books that I would like to read for Middle Great March, which also relate to Historathon 2023. Historathon 2023, if you didn't know, is an event I am co-hosting that is all about reading non-fiction history. And it is a year-long event and um, it's divided by time periods and you can... I put the information down below as well. But so because I knew I would be participating in Middle Great March and I'm also participating in Historians on 2023, I um I wanted to find some non-fiction historical middle grade books. And currently at this moment in time, in the year, we are reading books from the prehistoric period to 500 AD. So I wanted to find books that would match that time period and that were non-fiction historical middle grade books. And so I found several books, but I chose three. Just because I've already talked about a ton of books, so I'm going to leave it at three. I'm probably not going to get to all of, all, all five, like everything I've talked about in this video, but I'm going to give it my best attempt. So the books that I found and that I would like to read are um, The Thrifty Guide to Ancient Rome, A Handbook for Time Travelers, which is a, a what it sounds like, a thrifty guide for time travelers about ancient Rome. I have perused it and it looks amazing. That one is the one I most want to read from the Historathon books. And then um, you wouldn't want to be a Greek athlete, which is part of a series that's called you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to be a and there are a lot of things you wouldn't want to be a Sumerian slave you wouldn't want to be an Egyptian pyramids worker you wouldn't want to be a soldier in Alexander the Great Army you wouldn't want to be like that type of thing and it's a non-fiction and then finally another series is who was and I would like to read who was Confucius because I don't know anything about Confucius and what better way to start than with a middle grade non-fiction book. So those are my plans for this year middle grade March. Uh, you know, stick around to see which books I actually end up reading. I always do wrap ups for the readathons I'm participating in. So, you know, stick around to see my wrap up at the end of March. Thank you so much to Krista and Amanda and Katie for creating and hosting uh, Middle Grade March. I am very excited to participate once, participate once again this year. And as I said, this readathon was what got me first uh, going with Middle Grade reading and I really, really love it for that. Well, that was very eloquent. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for being in my channel. And uh, that's it. I will see you again on a bookish video soon. And in the meantime, I wish you happy reading.